Hi, old mama. I don't really have anything fun to update on at the moment. I'm just at work. I am making my uh, my chore to-do list and also my grocery shopping list because it's been like three weeks since I've gone grocery shopping and we have no food in the house. It's yeah, I'm really I'm really bad at keeping our fridge stocked. I I realize that. So um, yeah, so after work I have to go grocery shopping and that's gonna be a nightmare because I'm usually very, very tired after work. And it's been like close to 30 degrees here um, every, every day after work. So I get home and I'm just like melting into a puddle. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna wanna go grocery shopping, but I'm gonna force myself to because we need food. Okay, that's, that's enough grocery listing. It's super slow here this morning. Like I think I've had three customers in the last like two hours that I've been open. Um, surprise, surprise. I bring Mickey to work with me. Hi boy. Yeah, he gets to uh, come to work with me because he has really bad separation anxiety. And so when he's at home, come on up. He whines and whines and whines and whines and cries and cries and whines some more. So, at least here, when he whines and cries because he's locked in the back room and can't see me, I it doesn't bother anybody. It just only bothers me, right? Yeah, I love you too. Look at this handsome boy. Look at this handsome boy. Yes, I love you too. So. Yeah, so he hangs out, hangs out at work with me, and we're working on being him being able to be alone, hence the closed door and everything. Um, but yeah, he's <laughs> snowing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so I'm an idiot. I. Uh, Waited too long to go grocery shopping after work. I decided to sit on the couch and relax a little bit. And I waited too long. And the bus stopped running every half hour. So I missed it. So now I have to hike upstairs with my cart to get home. And this is how far I've got so far. It's kind of hard to see, but like, <sighs> this is all forest and I have so much further to go. Also, I left my grocery list at work. So I had to do grocery shopping by memory and I'm pretty sure I got things I wasn't supposed to get and I forgot things I was supposed to get. So that's fun. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to make another trip with the bus later on this week, but at least I've got enough to tide me to the weekend. Um, and at this point, I'm just stalling doing the rest of the stairs, so. <laughs> I've come this far. Oh my god. I'm almost at the top. There's the power lines. I'm almost at the top. It's kind of a nice view. Sort of. Holy crap. Almost there. That's a cute little garden area. Hey. <sighs> My reward for making it is that I get to sit on a bench for a little bit with the pretty flowers behind me. Oh my god. So, note to self, go grocery shopping earlier. <sighs> Sounds like these where I kind of wish I had a car. But at the same time, I can't afford a car. So, you know, oh, look at this view. Isn't it pretty? That's the city. And over there, you can see the Lionsgate Bridge and the Pacific Ocean. That's where Vancouver Island is. Um, I'm also now hungry, which is ironic, so. I guess I'll head back home now. <sighs> so, 
I spoke too soon when I mentioned the weather yesterday because it's pouring rain today. Like, on my walk to work it was misting, I got to work and it started bucketing and now it's just drizzling again. Um, but uh, last time that I had to walk to work in the rain, the pathway along the highway that I walk on, that's Mickey barking in the background, I don't know if you can hear him or not. Um, the pathway that I walk along the highway to get to work, I'll show you if I remember when I'm walking home today, but it floods in one section from wall to concrete blockade and the cars are on the other side. They're like the whole thing with like ankle deep water. And I thought that it was just like if it rains for days and days it'll flood. But no, it turns out if it rains one day it floods. One morning. So last time I discovered this I was wearing my black hunter rain boots. You know, the really expensive rain boots that go up to your knees and was like, poof, I'm wearing rubber boots, this is no problem. I waded right through it, and my left boot started filling up with water. I was so mad. I got to work, and my foot was all squishy, my sock was soaking wet. I padded over, well, I mean, I, I, I think I had shoes here that I was able to wear, which was good. Um, so I put my bare feet into my shoes and walked over to the Safeway in the complex here and luckily they have socks for sale and so I bought really expensive, it was like six bucks for a pair of socks. No, it was more than that, it was like nine bucks, I can't remember. And they were really, really crappy socks. And so, yeah, I had to wear really crappy socks. And of course my orthotic, which was in my boot, was also soaking wet. So. I had to wear my runners without my orthotic in them and I haven't done that ever and so my orthotic has made an imprint in my shoes and so my shoes are now really uncomfortable if I don't wear them with my orthotics. And it was just rough. Anyway, long story short, I wore my Blundstones today, um, these, these boots here, um, because I didn't want to wear my rain boots with a hole in them. Um, and I found if you walk right on the little edge, as close as possible to traffic as you can, and you walk really slowly, I could get through it without soaking these boots, because these boots are leather. So they are water resistant up to a point, but if I step into a puddle, they're gonna get soaked immediately. So I was able to very carefully make my way across, but I was very upset. And now I need to buy rain boots, because even though it's August, apparently we're getting rain, and I'm kind of bummed, so yeah, although maybe what I'll try to do is stop the leak in my my current rain boots first. I'll figure it out, but anyway, there's, there's my rant. So this morning's been very dead, um, as well as yesterday, but I finally have something cool to do. I got a, a shipment of dog life jackets and like harnesses and other stuff and collars and leashes and now I get to price them all and put them away and put them on the shelf. Um, yeah, so that's fun. These are like some really cool patterns. Look at this. It's a watermelon. It's a watermelon dog leash. It's so cool. I think my favorite, I like the bones. The bones are cool. Anyway, so yeah. So now I have to make somebody a name tag. They placed it, an order over the phone. And got the machine all going. Oh, ha. Hi! So, remember when I told you that the highway was full of uh, uh, water? Yeah, check this out.
so I had to walk through all of that. It was not fun. Yeah. So I'm a little sad because I just had to put something in the compost that shouldn't go in the compost. I, Oma made me muffins and I didn't know that you were supposed to put them in the fridge and I left them on the counter and they went moldy. And so my muffins are now in the compost and I'm hungry. One more thing real quick and then I gotta get actually cleaning the house so that I can show you what my house looks like when it's clean. Um, I bought a new toy. You can't really see it, but it's a new ukulele. It's a bass ukulele. So it's got big, big thick strings. And yeah, so I'm very excited about that. So the, this is the only thing that I've learned on it so far. Now when I go, if Ukulele Club ever starts back up again, because, you know, virus, um, I can play this instead, and then while everybody's like strumming away, I can be doing the, the rhythm and the bass. It'll be fun. Anyway, bye!